Welcome to one of the fastest growing sports YouTube channels out there, Golden Blue Dude. Three conferences and 12 teams. Who ends up where? Let's go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me again, Golden Blue Dude. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I do college football videos every single day. That is what I do. Hey, guys, don't forget to check out my good friends at tristatewoodsketch.com. They have a lot of shapes and sizes you can choose from, so I'm sure you'll find something you like. All you have to do is send them your picture that you want on that piece of wood, and he'll make it happen. Right now, he's running a great sale. If you go over to tristatewoodsketch.com and mention that Golden Blue Dude sent you, he'll give you buy one, get one free. So the news that is ruling the college football landscape right now is realignment. We already know that Oklahoma and Texas are headed to the SEC, pending on a vote tomorrow. And it's expected to go 13 to 1 in favor of Oklahoma and Texas. So that's going to happen. But what about the remaining teams in the Big 12? Well, like I've said before, West Virginia will be going to the ACC. So I'm not going to be talking about West Virginia in this video either. I'm also hearing that Iowa State and Kansas are going to go to the Big 10. So for the sake of argument, I'm going to leave those two teams out as well. So that leaves Kansas State, Oklahoma State, Baylor, TCU, and Texas Tech. Now there's three conferences that are in play for these five teams. That's the ACC, the Pac-12, and the AAC. Now it is possible that the Pac-12 could go after Oklahoma State and Texas Tech. They do meet the requirements. Tier 1 research facility. So that could very well happen. But the more interesting and the more entertaining scenario is the ACC versus the AAC. Yesterday I heard that the AAC plans on poaching the remaining members of the Big 12. But now I'm hearing that the ACC is in play for those very same teams as well. I'm hearing from a very reliable source that the ACC could cut the low-hanging fruit from their current membership to add some of these schools from the Big 12. Maybe a Syracuse, maybe a Boston College, maybe a Wake Forest, maybe a Georgia Tech, maybe a combination of those four teams. And they would do that to make room for some of these teams that are in the Big 12 and some of these teams that are in the AAC, say a Cincinnati, UCF, and Memphis. UCF is actually a high commodity, guys. Highest enrolled school in the state of Florida. Very rich recruiting ground. It would increase the footprint of the ACC in Florida. So UCF is very much in play in this scenario. Now for the ACC, a lot of this depends on Notre Dame because you know they're going to offer Notre Dame. So if Notre Dame accepts, that's one less spot. It could just be West Virginia and Notre Dame. But if they don't accept, that's when the doors fly open for these other scenarios. So the AAC could lose Cincinnati, UCF, or Memphis. And if the ACC cuts Syracuse, Boston College, Wake Forest, or Georgia Tech, they could go over to the AAC. So we could see a lot of swapping going on here in the near future. I guess the big question is going to be, what's the ACC and the AAC going to look like after the dust settles? But it is a very reliable source that's telling me that the ACC is planning on cutting some low-hanging fruit to make room for some of these teams from the Big 12 and possibly picking some teams from the AAC. Now I know you're sitting there going, no, Golden Blue Dude, that'll never happen. These teams have been there forever, like a Georgia Tech and a Wake Forest. Uh... Have you paid attention? Oklahoma, Texas going to the SEC. Loyalty means nothing right now. It's what have you done for me lately? How much money are you making me? So with that being said, here's what the swap could end up looking like after the dust is settled. For the ACC in the Atlantic, Clemson, Florida State, NC State, Louisville, UCF, Baylor, TCU, and Kansas State. In the Coastal, Miami, North Carolina, Pitt, Duke, Virginia Tech, Virginia, West Virginia and Cincinnati. Again, it depends on what Notre Dame does, though. For the AAC, this is how they would look. Memphis, East Carolina, Houston, South Florida, SMU, Temple, Tulane, Tulsa, Navy, Syracuse, Boston College, Wake Forest, and Georgia Tech. This scenario is very possible. I, I don't know if they would end up exactly in this situation, but some swapping is definitely going to happen, guys. And the highest commodity from the AAC that the ACC will try to get is UCF. And yes, I do think the Pac-12 ends up with Oklahoma State and Texas Tech. Just makes too much sense for me. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.